Right, good afternoon. Happy Sunday to us all. Uh, let's make the most of this nice day while we can, because before you know it, we'll all, you'll all be back at work. Um, so hopefully I can entertain you in the meantime. Um, just going to add these. So basically, we've just been playing through the Premier Sports Cup games. We've qualified. We've won every game. We like we won the last game 10-0. So that's good. Um... And we'll just add in a few of these players to the short list just so we've got a good good list of talented players we can call upon. Uh, also makes the most of how much we're putting in the scouting budget. So yeah, we're slightly over on the wage budget. Okay, actually, I'm going to cancel that transfer, I think. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to cancel this one. We don't need him. Just stick with what I've got. So... Yeah, but we've got our first Scottish Premiership game coming up soon. Well, first in the same that I've been. I, 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 I'm assuming Rafe Rovers have been in the Scottish Premiership at some point. Ah, Jamie Forrest out for so he won't make his uh, debut in the league. Hopefully we'll start, hopefully we get a win and it'll be a good little, you know, give me an idea who we can and can't beat in the league because we don't know yet. I mean, it might be a similar situation to the Everton series that I did where I was absolutely destroying the English Championship and then I got into the Premiership and then just it all went tits up basically. So you just don't know, do you? But hopefully not. Well, we'll have to see. I feel like we've done well in the transfer window. Can I get rid of Fleck? Can I get rid of Burke? I'm going to try and limit how many older players I sign moving forward and try and sign young players. I still will have uh, a decent core of old-ish players. To help with mentoring stuff like that, but gotta try and look for the future, ain't you? I'm also slowly gonna try and get more young Scottish players if they're good enough. So obviously I won't be able to sign players from Celtic and Rangers. Well, maybe I can, but the talented players I might not be able to. But uh, I can maybe raid the other Scottish teams for their talented young players eventually. Because the AI is not very good, so I can't imagine they're going to do that with me. And then you just try and build from there, really. Yep, we've been given 3.6 million for losing against Peterhead. Hold on, when did we even play that game? Was that a game that reserves played? Oh, it was a reserves, it was a reserves competition, so that's why I wasn't playing it. We got three million for a competition we never even played in. God knows how much money we're going to get in the Scottish Premiership because, according to this, we're only going to get ten grand. I don't think that's right. I think that was something else. I think I'm, I think I read that as something else. Right, Warren is going out on loan. Oh, we've got Balakum, Balakum, sorry, on loan. So we've gone up slightly on the wage budget now, but only a little bit. It's not too bad. As long as we don't really sign anybody else, we should be all right. We can be. We're okay to be a couple of grand over our wage budget. I think we can always rectify that in January. Right, I'm looking forward to this game against Dundee United. I think I think it'll be a good test for our players. <coughs> Why can't somebody just sign Burke? 
We've got another another under 18s assistant manager. We signed one earlier. And he's not very good either. I don't trust my uh, technical director, Peter Reed. I think he's a bit rubbish. In fact, I'm going to look to bring in a better one. So we go staff search this time. We do uh, recruitment, technical director. Get rid of these. Pick a tribute for technical director. Oh, it did come up or something. Who do we... Right, so we want... What was it? Attributes? Okay, let's just up them slightly, see what happens. There you go. Baz Steen Vodden. Don't get me wrong, Peter Reed. At least I know who you are. But you're old as well, so you, your time is up, mate. You're out the door. Get out the door. Don't run around now. Du, du, du. I don't know the words, there's no point me trying. Come on, I want this bloody Tory up now. I want to play the first game. Um, thank you as always, everyone who's been watching. Um, and that I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments section as always. Much appreciated to get some sort of feedback. Right then, let's see. See, this look. This looks promising. We've got a lot of players that are very good in their position. Right, so let's have a look at the lineup here. So we've got Ruse in goal. We've got Swanson as right back. Rosler makes his debut. We alongside Warner, Diarte on the left, Ball and Pablo Henrique in midfield. So this is probably the position we need to strengthen in the long run. Um, Paul Ince, not Paul Ince. I wish it was Paul Ince. Um, Thomas Ince on the right wing. Dander in the middle. Muskie on the left. Hoyland up front. And I assume Balakum's come in as our backup goalkeeper. Have we got much of a subs bench? Yeah, we've got a full subs bench as well. So at some point, never know, Deli Ali might come on. And we've also got a few new signings we can bring in. All right, so we start from the back here. Warner, Rosler, back to Warner. Across to Musqueam. Um, there we go. We're just trying to keep possession at this point. By the looks of it, we're not we're not doing very much with it, though, are we? With a lot of sideways and backwards. There we go. Ball, a lot of ball by ball. Swanson loops in the cross. Get in. Hoyland, seven goal the season already because he's because of these Premier Sport Cups games. So he's doing very well this season. Yeah, seven goals in four games for us so far. <coughs> well that's a really good start to the game oh Mukwe is in he's had a knock so we're going to take him off Mr Rafe Rovers is coming on there they've got a corner headed out nicely by ball they've got it back though can they do anything with it Hopefully not. Oh, good. That's what we like to see. Waste of a opportunity. Right, we've got possession now with Swanson. Swanson to Rosler. Rosler to Enrique. Vaughan. To Warner. Warner very cautious here. Back to Ruse. Rosler. Cross to Swanson. Now, can Swanson drive forward? Yes, he can. Ince. Dander with a beautiful ball. Enrique. Oh, look at that. Lovely little team goal. I don't know if there's VAR here in the uh, Scottish Premiership. We'll soon find out. Yeah, 2-0. That's good. Oh, we've got another highlight. Dander. Vaughan. Still get it. Is he going to shoot? Oh, misses. Hopefully Vaughan can do well in the Scottish Premiership as well as he did in the... I hope he can make the step up. I don't think he'll be a first-team regular, but I think he'll be definitely playing at least 20, 20 games a season. 
I reckon. Right, they've got a free kick though. Lovely interception by Swanson. Swanson, can we get the counter attack now? We've got enough players pushing forward. Let's make the most of it. There we go. Beautiful pass by Enrique to Danderton Vaughan. Oh, Vaughan nearly gets his first goal of the season for us. He's looking hungry, Vaughan. He's looking for that goal. Dundee United in possession. Hoppy. Okay. Good, good, good. That's all right. I don't mind. I'm all right with that. They've got a former Watford player here. How's he, how's he done for him? Oh, he's signed a 3.5 million. He went to Udinese and then Mets. So, uh, yeah. Good for him. That's what I say. Good for him. Right, ball's a bit knackered, so Aziz, and then Swanson's a bit tired, so Franco Dabo can make his debut. Uh, Ince is tired, so we'll put Maldini on, and then Dander's tired, and we'll put on Deli Alley. There we go. Hopefully Deli Alley can come on and make an impact in the last 12 minutes ago. That was a pointless highlight, wasn't it? Right, come on Deli. Will he extend our lead? Will he have a contribution to the game? No, nothing happened. But anyway, good result, 2-0. Good. We like to see. We're the top of the Scottish Premiership. There we go. We'll uh, we'll end the season there, everyone. We we're happy with our champ uh, Scottish Premiership win. Our first title of many, hopefully. Nah. Anyway, right. Let's add in. Add in as well. See, this is what I'm looking at here. Ideally, in the long term, signing talented young players, young. Anyway, I'm just going to skip these now from now on. Too many of them. Right, Hibs next. Oh, I'll have a look at that season ticket thing in a second. I clicked it too early. So we've uh, we've had we've had two thousand four hundred and twenty four season tickets sold for the season, so double the amount that we sold uh, last season, which is good. It hopefully increases the finances at the club. Uh, can we get a senior affiliate abroad, maybe? Probably not going to happen. I don't think it ever happens in, in on the, on FM, from what I remember. What I'll do once the transfer window is shut, my videos for the rest of before the January January window will probably just be like you like usual. I just when when there's transfer window, I feel like. I should be doing it like this, so you see everything, just in case. Some people prefer that. Uh, hopefully, let me know one way or another which you like, whether you prefer just to watch the matches and then I do a general uh, roundup of what's happened in between the games. Or you prefer just to me to do this, where it feels a bit more live type of thing, instead of heavily edited. Cause some people don't like heavily edited videos, they just like to see... Everything there and there. Right, Dabo is injured. 
So this will be a, uh, a big test for us against Hibs. Uh, they lost their first game of the season, so that might help us. Hopefully a decent crowd and we can get some, make some good money from that. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Should we try and sign him? He would definitely be an upgrade to what we've got as left back Diarte. It would make us over on our wage budget, but I think it's worth it at the end of the day. Hold on. I don't particularly want another striker. No. I don't need another striker. Yeah, so these scout reports now, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna look at them. We've, we've done our transfer business near enough. Harvey Warren's gone on loan, so he's joined Jack Hamilton, going on loan to Bolton. Uh, he'd be a good player, but we haven't got the wage budget for him. So we'll add him to the shortlist in case. Uh, I think we're alright for centre back. I think like, we're alright in all positions now. The only one I'm a little bit sceptical about is centre midfield a bit. But I think we're alright for the, the first half of the season anyway, what we've got. See another centre back. I don't we don't need a centre back. I mean I'm moaning about it, but it is my fault because I have got the DOF and the head of recruitment in charge of head of youth recruitment, sorry, in charge of transfers. So I've only got myself to blame on that one, but they sometimes spot a player that I would never even think about. So that's why I leave it as that, because I can always cancel deals if I don't want them. Right then, we've got our next game of the season. So we've got Ruse and Goal, Swanson is right back, Welsh and Warner, centre back, Diarte's left back, Ball and Fleck in midfield, Ince's right wing, Maldini in the middle, Musqui is left wing, and Hoyle up front. You never know, Hoyland might get his 10th goal of the season here. He's got, how many is he? If he gets a hat trick, maybe? Yeah, if he gets a hat trick in this game, he'd, he'd have scored 10 goals in six games. Uh, it's quite impressive. Good save by our goalie, I think. Yeah, our goalie, yeah. We have a corner. All right. Goalkeeper saves it nicely. Just do some gentle, gentle uh, encouragement for the players. <sighs> Nearly. Right, let's do some more encouragement. Don't need to panic too much. We're not losing at the moment. Our XG's been better. We've had more shots than them, but this might change with this highlight. Oh, a long throw. I've seen that one. Bloody hell, that's a hell of a long throw. We might need to look at bringing him in. Yeah. I'll have a look in a sec. I'll see if I can add him to the shortlist and bring him in eventually. They got Nagalo at Hibs. Is that Nagalo the Wonder Kid from like a year or two ago? I'll have a look in a sec. Oh, nearly. I think we just keep, just keep encouraging for now. To be honest, we're not the odds on favourite to win. Hibs are meant to win this game. Good tackle by Musgrave. Right, let's see how we get on. Maldini, nice little pass, Ince across to Swanson, back to Ince. Ince with a beautiful pass, what a goal, Maldini, oh here we go. Now is this going to be disallowed or is this going to be VAR check? This is the first time, oh well, we have got VAR in the Scottish Premier, so that's good. Ah, uh, goal disallowed, that's not good though. <clears throat> but we are, we are showing them that we are a good team and they shouldn't be taking us for granted, so that's good. They are, we are earning their respect, I think. Let me just have a quick look at Hibbs' team. It is him. Yeah, Adamo Nagali. Did they sign him? Oh, they signed him for two points. Oh, sorry, he went to Arsenal, didn't work out. 
they got them. They got themselves a bargain there. Two point six million. Um, is it Miller? That's Miller, isn't it? Is he good at long throws? Oh, he is good at long throws. Right. Oh, well, Australian bloke. So has he been there long? He's been there for a few years. We'll look to bring him in at some point. Hopefully, maybe. Probably not this season though. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one here. Uh, oh, okay. We'll fix it in a minute. Right, here we go. Warner. Hoyland. That was a terrible pass, Hoyland. Oh. Ah, he's a good player, he is. He used to play for Nance. Oh, he was really good there. So they've done well, Hibbs, bringing him in. How old is he? I'll have him to shortlist. I might bring him in at some point. He might be like a long-term target for us. We've got to be better than Hibs though before we sign him because he ain't going to sign for us in the, in the meantime. Right, let's go back to our stats. Right, uh, Thomas Ince can come off. Lewis Vaughan can come on. Hoyland's not been playing very well, but we'll leave him because I don't think we're... Uh, we'll leave it for a bit. I might take him off in a minute. Actually, no, his, his rating's gone down terribly. Right. We have got other strikers, but for some reason they're not on the bloody bench. Uh, no, we'll leave it. We'll have to leave them on. I'm annoyed. We've got two backup strikers, but neither on the bench. That's weird. Deli Alley's not on the bench either, or else I'd have put him on. Hibs all over us. Still that better XG than them, so at least there's that. Good save. Who else can we take off? Oh, she's not playing particularly well. Right, can we... Why are we going to wait until we give a shout to the player? It don't make sense. You wouldn't... That wouldn't happen in real life. <coughs> Sorry. Good save. Right, I'm gonna to have to take him off. I'm gonna put Dan there up front. Musgrees knackered. Can't take any more players off now. Are you only allowed three players? Oh, you're only allowed three substitutions in the Scottish Premiership. That's not good. Oh well. Oh, well, could be worse. Could have been a goal. At least he's got to slow. Two little against him isn't too bad. So I feel like I know. I already know where we are. I feel like we're we're not as good as Hearts or Hibs or Celtic or Rangers. I feel like the other teams we could probably beat. All right, we'll play one more game and then we'll call it a day. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode though. Um, I don't get, I haven't had much feedback, so I don't know whether people are liking. The only thing I can go on is the data from the analytics. Um, so yeah, so just if you feel like you want to help me, um, please leave me feedback. I don't mind it being negative. Like I said, as long as it's nothing like offensive and it's like a personal attack, then that won't be tolerated. But uh, you know, if it's if it's decent criticism, then that's fine. Uh, Lewis Vaughan is not happy about his playing time, but will convince you otherwise. Right, they're not happy because of the dominant ball, so we we'll just do this. So we'll. Oh, I hate I hate this player status thing. Oh, he's not happy with that. We need to change it to important player. There we go. Oh, this is. Poor feature on F for FM. Such a waste of time. It just it just causes issues more than anything. I suppose that's the point of it, though, isn't it? Uh, 
Bloody hell, Grant Hanley, is he still playing? Oh, he's only 33, I thought he was older than that. Frank Buller. Good striker. But we've got enough strikers. There we go. We've upgraded on the left back flank. Very good player. Can play probably it's probably better than the Scottish Premiership if I'm honest. Could probably play for like a like a lower table, mid table prem, English Premiership team and probably play for a decent mid table German team, play teams like that, Spanish team. So uh, we've done well there. No, I'm all right for strikers, thank you. It's like I'm constantly fighting with the board to stop making my wage budget go ridiculously high. Right, so we've got a Premier Sports second round match to come up now. We'll play that. Um, we won't instant result it, we'll play it. And then we'll call it a day. All right, we'll just, let's have a look at Lewis Miller. Sign Miller as a priority. Can we, can we sign him on loan maybe? No. Can we get the ball to sign it? Maybe we get the ball to sign it. Come on, this will be a... No, worth a try. Oh well, right. Right then. So, all oh, we needed is some result there, sorry. So we've got Ruse and Goal, Swanson's right back, Rosler and Warner as centre back partnership, Diarte starting, which is weird because we've got that new left back. Maybe he's not. Oh, he's on the bench. Let's try him out for this game. We can afford to make uh we can afford to take chances. Fleck and ball in midfield, Inser's right wing, Nardini in the middle, Vaughan on the left, and Hoyland up front. So we've got a new player debuting. Right, uh, let's see how we get on against Kilmarnock. It's the first time we've played Kilmarnock on this same, I remember. Not the best of starts. 1 0 down after two minutes. But it got disallowed, so that's good. I shouted, I shouted at them for no reason, <laughs> they're not happy. Uh, I'll do some gentle encouragement. Oh, Lewis Vaughan, come on. Lewis Vaughan to, yet to get his first Scottish Premiership goal of the season. Ince with the corner. Hoyland. Back at... Ah, oh, intercepted. Oh, oh, here we go, Ince. You're going to get sent off for that, aren't you? You silly boy. Oh, no, luckily not. Right, corner to us, Ince. Floats it across. I think we could beat Kilmarnock by the looks of it. We're better. We'll there you go. Thomas Ince with his fourth goal this season. Again, most of his goals are probably in the... I don't think he scored a league goal yet. They all add up though. Yeah. he's uh, He seems to be the player of the season in the Premier Sports Cup at the moment. So we're 1-0 up. Bit of a turnaround after two minutes, we're 2 0 down. But look at the goal that just oh, Hoyland with a blaster of a shot there, right? Uh, yeah, we're gonna just we just got a goal by Thomas Ince, so hopefully, we get another one, extend our lead, take the pressure off a little bit. Rosler, ball, oh, we lose the ball, and now Woodburn is gonna gallop past. I know, I thought he was gonna go off on a run then. A new signing got six point seven rate so far, so that's pretty good. Uh, 
Right, let's try and demand a little bit more. Kill this game off. They've got a goal kick. We get it possession though. Maldini. Across to Ince. They've sent it across to Swanson now. Swanson. Ah, oh, bad pass by Swanson. Um, oh, that was a poor, poor, poor mistake by their goalkeeper. Eighth goal of the season for Hoyland. Eight goals already. Eight goals in seven games so far. Good defensive play there by us. Good that we're winning 2-0. I think we've got like, I think this season, if I'm predicting it from what I'm basing on so far, I think we'll end up like six in the league, I think, by the end of the season, the Scottish Premiership. We're not going to be good enough to be Celtic or Rangers very often, if any. Uh, I don't think we're going to be good enough to beat Hearts or um, Hibs. And I think we, I think there might be one other team there, I can't think of maybe Motherwell or... But I think we'll get, if we get six in the league... I'll be happy with that mid-table finish. Maybe we can get fifth if we're lucky. And if we can pull off some upset wins against the top four along the way, great. Good interception there by Swanson. Ince. Ball. Nice bit of passing going on between our midfield and our strikers here. Hoyland, who comes back to keep possession. He likes to have the ball, Hoyland. Ball. Black. Beautiful over the top ball to Hoyland. <sighs> Hoyland lucky not to get his second goal of the game. Right, who's playing poorly? Maldini's not playing very well. Where are you? Is Deli out of here? Oh, he's not even on the sub bench. Uh, Dandada. Who else is not playing particularly very well? That's it, really. Everybody else is playing well. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take off him because he's knackered. Lewis Vaughan, you can come off. You're tired. Put Muscovy on. Right, they've got a free kick. We head here out, luckily. They retain possession now. Oh. Oh, good save, Ruse. Ruse who Ruse who got twenty three clean sheets last season, so he's uh he's doing well. But looks like he's getting his second clean sheet of the season. Or third, something like that, I can't remember. How many clean sheets have you got? So far. Clean sheets. Three. Three for the season. It'll be his fourth clean sheet of the season. Which is good considering we've only played six or seven games. Very good goalkeeper. Right, there we go. Swanson, ball. Back to Swanson. To Rosler. Back to ball. Across to Fleck. Fleck drives it forward. Still got some energy in him. The old, the old bugger. Loses the ball though. Mm. This is going to be a goal there. Yeah, it is. Oh, squeaky bum time. Can't take any more players off either. I miss the good old days where we can have like take off four or five players. Right, here we go. Can we get another goal before the end of the game? Good ball. Ince. Oh, poor, poor by Ince. Oh, we get it back though. Swanson, great tackle. Fleck drives it forward. <gasps> Fleck nearly scores. He definitely did deserve a goal there. Yes, I agree with the commentator. Into with the corner. Takes his bloody time. Saved by the goalkeeper. Right, come on. Let's see this game out. Let's do a bit of time wasting. 
go very defensive. Let's just kill this game off now. There we go. Uh, Ruse didn't get his clean sheet there, but still doing still did well. Kept us in the game. Right, let's just forward it to the next game, and then I'll call it a day. It's been a quite long episode, this one. We look like we're signing somebody on a free transfer. Infinity. Oh, he's the one that I added on the shortlist ages ago. No, we'll just let the board... Yeah, no, we'll let the board deal with the finances. I'm not that bothered. We're playing Motherwell in the next round. Is that is that right? Yeah, Motherwell. Nice home game for the fans to go to in the cup. Never know. We might be able to win the Premier Sports Cup this year, this season. We won the uh, Trust Trophy last season. Don't even know what that is. For some reason, we recalled him. I can't remember the reason why. We played seven games for Aberdeen. I think he's probably better off playing for us, to be honest. Let's sign him a new contract. He's a squad player, so yeah, so I think he's come back because we think he's good enough to play for us. Right, we've got a new technical director. So in fact, I'm going to call it a day on there, and then I'm going to... Yeah, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your support, as always. I um, hope you're enjoying the, the journey with Rafe Rovers. We've started reasonably well in the... You know, one win, one loss in the league. We're through to the next, the quarterfinal of the Premier Sports um, Cup. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. All the best. Bye.